for joining us tonight at 10. Parents in Oklahoma showed up at tonight's school board meeting looking for answers about unfinished school repairs and the money that was supposed to pay for them in 2014. The Oklahoma School District was allotted $2 million to make repairs at the high school and elementary school. And four years later, those repairs aren't done. Our Quentin Smith was at that meeting tonight. He joins us live in the studio with more. Yo, Scott, parents say the school is a safety hazard, and if these repairs aren't made by the start of the new school year, they're threatening to transfer their kids to another school district. Caved in ceilings, a leaking roof, no AC, and toilets without a lid. These are a number of safety concerns parents have with the Yokolona School District. Our kids deserve better. When a child has to hold their BM, all during school time, something is wrong. Marsha Gates was one of the many parents pressing school board members on why these repairs haven't been made. Repairs she thought should have been made years ago. We were told this $2 million school bond was to upgrade the school facilities. And here it is, 2018, elementary. Part of it had been upgraded and part of it not, such as the bathroom. And that concerns us. Four years ago, the school district was given millions of dollars to fix these repairs. Now, parents are saying that money wasn't used appropriately. However, Superintendent Dexter Green says that's not the case. We spent that money wisely. Uh, the architects share with the community tonight that he has never seen a school district stretch two million dollars as much as we have as a school district. And we were, you know, we, the school board, we all collaborated and we made the best possible decision for the boys and girls in our school district. Green says that money was used for other projects that needed to be taken care of first, such as the football field. We're trying to help save taxpayer dollars. We're trying to spend uh, the, the tech, the, uh, those dollars very, very wisely as we upgrade uh, facilities here in our school district. When you spend so much amount of money on the football field and that wasn't even in the plan when you gave it out to the community, you deceived the community because you said $2 million going to upgrade the school facilities. Gates, just like many others, are hoping their message will get through to school leaders and these repairs will be made before the start of the school year. However, Green says that timetable may not be feasible. Not quite. Uh, in talking to the architects, some of the repairs, uh, possibly the, uh, the bathrooms, it may go over into the month of August. If the projects are not updated, if the bathrooms are not updated, we are asking the school board to delay the school, start of school. We suppose. Now, out of the $2 million, Green says only $160,000 remain. Now, on tomorrow, an expenditure report will be made available for residents showing them how the $2 million was spent and where the money went.